Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today Ding Liren showed his amazing tactics against Ian Nepomniachtchi, when Ian defeated Ding yesterday, the whole world thought that Ian will be the next champion but Ding is not less than Ian, this is your today's puzzle and solve it and comment me, let's go, Ding started with c4, he have d4, knight c3 and knight f3 on his next turn, Ian go with knight f6 standard opening but Ding played knight c3 instead of e4. Now Ian get a chance to play e5 to control over this square and we have knight f3. Many players can think I can push the pawn to attack your knight then the knight will move away to target this pawn with two pieces and how would you protect it, if you choose play queen e7 then queen c2 will come to complicate the position for you, so, back to the position, here we see knight f6, e3 and Ian played bishop to b4 as you know he is a stockfish subscriber. I teach my subscribers on my yesterday video that bishop b4 is a favorite choice of alpha 0, but this d pawn holds white's potential power, so ding played queen c2 and after takes we do see here b takes c3, amazing idea, making structure like this to get control over the center and positional play, bishop a3 and you may think that this is a double pawns on c file, is it good? Of course it's good because he have his brother to support him, ok we have d6, e4 castle and bishop here knight to h4 to go there to target the bishop and the pawn, if you do castle then the bishop will be potential target, so ding played d4 having control over the diagonal and putting pressure on center but nepo moved his knight on f4 anyway, takes takes, if you think the pawn can be a target with queen d2, then the queen will arrive on there with an extra move so we have castle queen here rook here rook e8 and bishop to d3, threatening e5 to target this and this at the same time, so Nepo played bishop to g4, here we see knight back to d2 and knight on a5, I think best move was to play rook to d8, this knight move plan is to push his queenside pawns with more frequently, Ding calculates this and played c5 to stop black from moving the c pawn and he is threatening to take the pawn, so after pawn takes. You shouldn't take the pawn, because your pawn structure will be unstable and weak, you will face weakness on the d file because most of your pieces are on there, so Ding pushed his pawn to target the queen and the h7 pawn, so we have queen here to protect it, d5 again a top rated move, his idea is to build his structure like this and queen here to target it, rook to d8, c4, we have b6, to stabilize the structure and maintain the queen side so we do see here h3. Moving back your bishop in any of these squares is not good because you are blocking your rook's line with your own hand, so we have bishop h5, putting the bishop here to have control this diagonal, we have bishop e4, in this position, Ding's strategy is to play knight here then knight h4 to go there. To target the queen, and the sixth rank will be totally occupied by the white, every squares will be covered and this g6 square will be covered by the bishop, the queen will face hell on there, let me explain you a practical example, if white successfully play knight f5 then you have to move your queen on there then knight will go on e7 to check the king and fork to the queen with two pieces, position will be dead lost, so nepo played rook e1 and his idea is to double up the rooks and play f6, queen c3 rook here and bishop f6, if you take it then the knight will activate on there, so knight to c7, this knight is just harshed around the queen side, his future is dark because he did a mistake in his previous birth, remember, knight is not worthy on left or right side, knights are always good in the center, ding played rook to e2 but it's an inaccuracy move best was to play a4, now Ian played f6, e6. You may think white have super advantages with his big pawn structure but I say it's a 0-0 position, black have a chance to make this game draw, let me show you the variation, bishop to g6, Knight here f5, knight backs and rook here rook e5 and knight d6, this position is totally locked by everybody, how would white break the position? This position is totally drawish because black have zero weakness, but in our actual game, Ian played knight to d6 instead of playing bishop here, so rook e1 and knight here, again a mistake move by Ian and best was to play bishop here so after bishop takes queen takes bishop, the knight have no work on there, that's why knight f5 was a wasted move, rook here queen backs, queen f3 to target this with two pieces, knight to d4 by Ian, again a blunder move. He didn't watch my videos yesterday that's why he is playing such mistakes, best was to play g5 to hold the position, 
then g4, on Passan isn't possible because of queen takes knight, so after knight backs the position would remain almost equal, but Ian made a big ego on his IQ and played blunder move knight here, Ding recently subscribed to my YouTube channel, and he watched few videos to improve his IQ and he played rook takes knight, sacrificing his rook, haha, and chess friends. If you want to improve your intelligence then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, here Ian takes the pawn, knight here to target the pawn, in close position knights are always better than a rook and white have a passed pawn which is a heaven for ding, ha ha ha, Ian played g5 now, but it's too late now, we have knight takes pawn and threatening to play knight here to fork the rook and queen so queen here g4, we have on Passan move, pawn takes, Ding is threatening to play g4. So h5 to stop it, knight here to target the rook, rook escapes on h7 queen here, and if you play any normal move for example pawn here, then knight e7 fork to the king and queen, after takes you will lose your queen and the game will be over so back to the position, we have king here d7. If you play again a normal move for example a5, queen here a4, queen d7 to target it and king here, rook to e6, and white is throwing is everything to black's territory, rook here then rook sacrifice on f6, if you take it the queen takes, let me show you the variation, after takes takes here, check and backs, white will successfully promote his queen and it's enough to win the game, so, back to the position, we have queen f7, try to protect it so d6, d7 is coming, and two seventh rank pawns are more powerful than a rook, so pawn takes knight takes, forking the queen and rook, if you take the pawn let me show you the variation, then knight takes queen takes and rook takes, it is 2 versus 1 and white is winning, so back to the position we have queen backs, knight takes takes, queen here to target it, so king here, rook here to target this pawn, rook h6 and rook to d1 threatening to play rook d8 to, to capture the queen, so after f5 we see queen check king here and queen takes. King cannot take it because of rook e1 check and you will lose your queen, so rook blocks queen check, here queen g7, queen cannot take it because of this, and if you play normal move a6 then after few moves later, king backs and queen takes rook, white will gain the rook, so back to the position, we have rook g6 then queen backs, and that's it, Ian resigned the game because after rook g8, rook to d8, takes, takes, takes takes, white have rook and he is winning. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.